Hey folks, it's Jure and welcome to Let's Play Earth of Iron 3 with World War 1 mod and it is a version 1.0 and we are playing as Austro-Hungary. So first of all I'd just like to advise you guys that I got about, I don't know, 6 or 7 hours experience with Earth of Iron 3 and I only started like one game with uh, World War 1 mod but could not get really far because it kept on crashing so I just did the clean install of everything and now I'm back here and hopefully it will be working fine so okay since I have absolutely no idea of what I'm gonna be doing make sure to let me know in the comment section if I'm doing something terribly wrong alright so first thing since we are Austro-Hungarian there's one good thing in uh, being not to experience is that do you see this man here Franz Conrad von Odzendorf well, I can't really be worse than him, so uh, I'll be happy if we just continue to exist after the war, if that's even possible. All right, anyway, we can uh, enact more efficient law, but I don't think it's working. We cannot afford the associated costs, and I'm not sure what these costs are, so I'll just remove it for now, and I cannot remove it for now. All right, so we'll be working on to the intelligence, and I'll just set up... Uh, my espionage lower because I don't need to spy on people and diplomacy lower because I'm not a faction leader so I don't care even lower than 2.45 like 1.22 will be good and about 1.75 officers so that gives us about 17 research no idea if that's great or bad but we'll still work our way with uh, some uh, infantry uh, researches we're now 1910, so we got to be careful with uh, what we're going to grab. Militia could be good, but we'll be waiting for that. Let's go into industry. All 1912. Here, 1910. That's good. We'll grab all of that. That's 1910. Uh, Aircraft-wise, nothing before next year. Uh, ships. I will not focus too much on ships. We are Austro-Hungary after all, so it doesn't really matter. But artillery, oh yes, we're going to get some good old artillery action going on. This is World War I after all, so we better have some artillery in there. Uh, secrets, we could grab civilian airship development, so that will be the balloons. That will be cool, but I'm not sure if it's worthwhile. Uh, I think I now grab it, and then if I don't see any good feature from it, then uh, we'll not grab the next one, 1913. All right, so afterward, uh, we can focus on land. Is that land? That's just like cool things about land. And let's grab some infantry warfare, mass assault, uh, central planning, elastic defense, assault concentration, Dilla doctrine, a couple of uh, techs. Pretty much everything that's 1910, and I'm at 23 project out of 17, so. We will let that start and then we will eventually come back. As for tanks, since we are in World War I and uh, we don't have any tanks, we'll need to wait 1914 to be able to start building a brigade. But to be honest, I'm not exactly sure if we will really be able to do anything with that. So if you know a little bit the setup of the First World War, then uh, we will get some events with Serbia that we will defy them, give them an ultimatum, and then invade them, then Russia will join in, Germany will join in, France will join in, the UK will join in because Germany will walk through Belgium, and Italy, even though they are a lie right now, they'll just pussy out when we'll give a offensive war, so they'll just do whatever Italy is usually doing, which is uh, losing, because yet yeah, they're going to lose, 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 what's that? Lose at Isonzo River. Where is it? I don't even know where Isonzo is. But I will lose here eventually. So we gotta be careful about that. Make sure we don't cause too much problem over here. As for diplomacy, I'd like to set up automatic trade because I'm not really good with trading. As for the rest of the diplomacy, I'll let Germany deal with uh, the other people, and uh, we'll see later on it, on what can we use our points. Production wise, we have two ships being built. Uh, we have too much. Too much what? Where, where are we wasting five? 
wasting five IC from reinforcement. Okay, so let's set reinforcement to zero. Uh, production is very low. Consumer goods, we're wasting on consumer goods. So let's set up uh, productions. Yeah, production should be good. Hmm, not sure if uh, I think I'll start building one industrial capacity, but I'm not really sure that uh, we have very low IC, so we'll just build one IC and we'll build a couple of uh, divisions. Already I have a couple of standard divisions, like two infantry, one artillery seems pretty good, some cavalries, uh, other stuff that we can't really build, and a lot of empty templates, so I'll probably fill them up, but meanwhile, let's just build uh, two or three 54 manpower, we're good. Three serial uh, infantry with one artillery mix up. So we will build that. Uh, will be eventually something that will come up true. Air wings, nothing can be built in the air wings yet because we are at the first world war. So technology is not quite yet there. So it seems like everything is set up in place. Actually, I'll just verify in my politics, see if I can grab someone with better IC. And I already have plus 10% IC, so I'll leave it at that. Political, no, already seen that. Technology is already done. Intelligence, eh, I'm gonna raise my national unity and gonna also act on counter espionage and get a lot of spies going on. And I'll also verify with my neighbors and uh, Romania will get some spies, Serbia will get some spies for sure, and uh, increased threat. Yeah, she'll be good, even though we'll probably get an event. So we'll just focus on uh, disrupt national unity, and Romania I can increase threat on them and also disrupt a bit their national unity. And Russia, Russia, you're, you're going to hate me too. So let's uh, prioritize spies onto Russia. I'm not sure what these uh, parties are. I guess that's like the uh, royal party or something. They're always, they have a lot of AC compared to me. They got 180. That's pretty awesome. All right, so Russia, you will get maximum priority, um, mostly to disrupt national unity, and uh, that should be pretty, maybe a bit covered operations I'm not sure I don't think that's worthwhile let me know if I should be doing that or not because I don't know at all and theaters well theaters need some stuff but I cannot build anything I don't have any any freaking uh, airplanes so it's not even being low on me to do it so we will live with that so let's start the time let's just actually save the game real quickly because uh I'm pretty sure we'll eventually crash. So let's go on speed five. Let's actually get uh, my troops here. Hmm. I'll get my troops deploy. So I'll just use the AI to deploy out my troops. And I'm not exactly sure why it's not working properly. Of course, it will not work properly, right? Okay, whatever. Just use this one as AI control. Oh yeah, that seems to be deploying slightly better. So we'll see uh, what we get with that setup. They're moving pretty much all the troops around. So we'll just make sure we get our troops set up properly. Here we got all these armies. That army though, we can uh, automate it. Let's go grab uh, the capital here. Belgrade and this army will automate it too against uh, here Montenegro and as well as Serbia and we'll just wait for them to get in place lack of troops or lacking of troops whatever and once they're in place we will remove the AI control so we get some better control and here I'll just get some defensive position against Romania and Russia why is there nothing coming up here? That feels really bad. That's not a good idea. Right, so I got some armies set up against these borders. Uh, here, I'll use you to defend against Italy. 
and uh, I guess I cannot defend against Italy since they're my allies so I'll defend against Switzerland meanwhile and uh, you are still you are AI control so go away how about you you're fine how about you uh, let's move these guys here yeah, these guys will actually be the defense here. I don't really need to defend against uh, Germany because if I will not go war against Germany. That's for sure. Uh, what else here going on? Nothing really. Uh, Southern freaking independence. Great. Bad news for us. But um, at the same time, South Africa, it's not like they're going to bring thousands and thousands of troops in a few seconds or something. Yeah, Russia's massing their armies on the borders, which is not really good for us. So is everybody else, actually. Everybody's massing troops everywhere, so. It's gonna be fun. Really pleasant. Alright, so these guys are still AI controlled. How about you? Are you still AI controlled? God, there's that's a massive army, right? Yeah, that's a massive army. We're wasting doing nothing, so let's move them here. I really don't know about uh, how do you call that? Uh, God damn, revolt! Yeah, I don't know about rebels. How it works exactly? Strength map mode. I'll need to pay a lot more attention to what I'm doing, but you know, I'm learning at the same time, so we're going to have fun together, right? Alright, so time's still going. These guys, I'll actually AI control and set up defense here. Great. That will be working. So let's just wait for them to set up in control place. Uh, we have units available for deployment and it's a ship. So let's drop it with the rest of the ships. Let's group up all the ships and we got a bad commander. How many ships can you control? 31. No, that's not enough. 24 ships maximum. How about you? 24. Huh. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep you, but I will also split out. I guess I have some submarines. Yeah, I got one submarines. Uh, okay, so I'll split out that submarine. And I will also split out like a couple of protected cruisers. Just so we don't get the malice from having too many ships. And let's give them two Prey Drenna. And one more light cruiser? Yeah, one light cruiser. And we shall be fine this way. Right? Yeah, we got 6 1 24. That's pretty nice. Let's go back to political map mode. And let's go on with the time. Uh, supplies rushing away how the hell how is it being used all right so we got a brand new ship here oh actually a couple of ships no that's just my fleet so let's put them in that fleet ah. so that should be interesting unit in poor supply yeah it's over they're no longer in poor supply Alright, so AI is setting up the defensive line. And now you can stop being AI control. Great, that looks nice. We, we seem to have a pretty sturdy line of defense here. That should be fine. There's not really any airplane on such early on. So that should not be an issue. About here we got a lot of troops. We have pretty much a lot of troops everywhere, so that should be fine. Do we actually have, like, reserve troops? Because that'd be terrible. Yeah, we got some reserve troops. Okay, at least they're seeing... No, they're not sending them back. Ah. Hey, we can upgrade to infantry. I don't know how useful that is. But we'll see, we'll eventually see. So we're lacking troops for the 5th army. Uh, fifth army. Yeah, the enemy has a uh, great power here. God, Serbian army is pretty strong. 
Japan is already doing shit up in here. And, oh, we have a ship here. Let's bring that ship back home. And rebase, accept. So we'll bring the ship home through the Suez Canal. It's a good thing we're doing that before being at war. And speed's still going. We're now in September, so we're closing on to the war. And I think it will be a perfect moment to end this episode, folks. So this is the first episode of Austro-Hungary, uh, World War One, and Earth of Iron Tree. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to drop a like, a share, and comment. And make sure to comment me uh, what 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 I'm doing wrong. It will probably already be too late because I will probably have already recorded the next part. But for the next playthrough, it will be important for me to know exactly what I'm doing terribly. Alright, so see you next time.